you are the youngest champion at at ADCC, but uh, you don't talk too much about the your title. What do you remember from that that day? You become a new ADCC champion. Right, right, man. That was, uh, I think, to date, probably my best, one of the best days of my life for sure. You know, um, you know, looking back, I, I still have people coming up to me like today. I was at a jiu-jitsu competition and be like, "Oh, I saw your ADCC performance. I was there. You had my whole team, you know, yelling, cheering." So whenever someone comes up to me telling, you know, like the smiles on there, it just puts a smile right back on my face. You know, so um, it was an amazing day. You know, is you know a lot of tough fights. You know, four tough fights. You know, not every single fight was difficult. But uh, it's just looking back, I just, uh, I don't even know. It's just, just I, I always tell the people the same thing. It's like relief. The feeling I feel is relief because I knew I had the ability to win. But, you know, you have so many killers in the division, so many talented guys. You still have to go and do it, you know. So I'm just glad I, I performed the way that I knew I, I could have. And, and about your final guys, Mika Galvão, a lot of guys waiting for this final uh, talk to you more about this fight. What do you think before? How was your prepare your mind to fight Mika Galvão? Because you and your brother came to fight with him a lot, a lot of times right. years ago as a blue belt and that now as a black belt. Talk to you more about this fight and the uh, Mika Galvão. Yeah, right, right. No, yeah. So I knew uh, obviously it would be another tough match, like I was saying about Titan. Um, you know, no, no stranger. Ty has fought him, I think, three times, right? Uh, I think four, uh, four times, right? Four times. We're two and two now. Two and two. Got yeah. it. So yeah, they fought four times. Well, it was crazy because me and uh, Mika, we have only had, or that was our only match. So we had never previously competed. Um, so I was, you know, just excited to see his game, see you know, uh, how it matched up against mine. Uh, you know, leading into the fight was probably the most broken physically. I like I felt before a competition. You know, after the the semifinals with PJ, I uh, I had a really bad, like, kind of pinched nerve in my neck and my ribs. I still have the rib problem to this day, but I messed up my ribs pretty bad. And uh, and uh, it was just, it was hard to mentally be prepared to, to go to the final. You know what I mean? And, of course, everyone else have their own injuries. Everyone else have, you know, things they're dealing with. But, you know, I just wasn't, I was feeling, you know, 50%, you know, physically. I just wasn't healthy. So I was like, man, I'm going to have to to fight a stud you know, not feeling 100%. So that's when mentally you start questioning some things, you know. And if it wasn't for my brother to, to literally slap me across the face a couple of times and say, like, you know, he told me, he told me, this is war, you know. And he goes, you can go out there and you can die or you can go out there and, and live and prosper, you know. So I thought about that and I was like, okay, you're right. Like, I literally have to think of it as that, as war. So I went out there and uh, just, you know, left everything I had on the map. And I, I have one question can be for both. And Kate, do you do you have plans to fight him again? Uh, at who's number one? Maybe you tie fought with him there at who's number one. And what's your plan for both to fight Mika Gavon? Has a possibility to these fights happen this year or not? I, I believe so for sure. I think more likely it happens this year, you know. Um like I said, yeah, that was our only match, so it's you know it's it's bound to happen again. Whether it's under one, who's number one, uh, whatever whatever rule set doesn't really matter to me. I guess we'll you know uh, go with whatever. I have the one champion belt right now, so it'd be cool if he could come over there and, and I can defend my title hey, again. But be. wherever it needs to be, you know, I'm down for it. Um, just waiting, just waiting for the for the call out. You know, I haven't been offered a contract, anything like that. So until that happens, you know, I'm kind of cruising. And you, Ty, what do you think about the another fight against Mika? Yeah, you know, I feel like uh, Mika and the Gi poses a much bigger threat than he does Nogi, you know, and uh, in the Gi, it's going to be a battle, you know, it's going to be a hard match, you know, the strength matters a lot more in the Gi than it does in the Nogi, you know, so for sure his strength helps him a lot more in the Gi, um, So maybe we, we meet again at the United Worlds or somewhere, but... Uh... Essa é uma estrutura incrível, eu nunca tinha visto aqui no Brasil. Então, BD Protec é pioneira no assunto. Nessa plataforma que vai ser lançada, e é uma plataforma incrível para a comunidade de jiu-jitsu brasileiro. Vai ter vários, vários cursos meio, curso do, do Fabrício, curso do Mika. E a gente está aqui para agregar é, 
no conhecimento de vocês. Então, fiquem ligados aí na BG Protec, segue já a página, acompanha no YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, porque vai ser uma grande plataforma e vai ser a maior do Brasil.